Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Life Over 70 with Lee. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. Today we're going to do a Get Ready With Me, and I'm going to be using a new makeup that I have ordered that I've heard so much about. It's everywhere, um, and I'm a makeup junkie, you know, uh, most of us are. If you're watching this channel, you're a makeup junkie too, I suppose. But, uh, but anyway, let's get started with it. This new makeup that I have ordered, and I have not tried it. I'm sharing this with you for the very first time. I have not tried this makeup whatsoever. Uh, I'm going to open it, and it's called Perbel. And this is what it looks like. I have ordered this. I took a shot in the dark on this. And I always hold my hand up so you can so you can see this. And yes, I do wear glasses. And I have my little glasses on for right now. But I'll take them off in a minute. Um, it's called Perbel. It runs about $40. And I call the company directly when I ordered this. Uh, it's a one ounce, and like I said, it runs about $40, so I am excited to try this, so I'm going to share it with you today, and let's see what happens with this particular makeup, see if I got my 40 bucks worth, so we'll give it a try. So here we go. I take off my glasses, and this is what it looks like. It's a little, uh, I did open the package, I will tell you that. It's a CC cream and uh, it has an SPF of 45. Um, so let's see what this is all about, ladies. Okay. Um, okay. It looks like it's going to be uh, white. It's coming out white. So I'm going to put a little bit here. Oh, it's like sunscreen almost. And a little bit there. Um, there, and it don't take, I'm probably putting way too much because I have not tried this, I have not tried this makeup, so we're gonna, we're gonna try it together, like I said. Um, I have a lot of rosacea in my skin, uh, I'm Irish, let me just grab a Kleenex here, and I may need more, but we'll start with that. And when I apply my foundation, most of the time I use these little wedges, these little wedges, the stiff wedges. I love these, and then I have the, I have the beauty blenders and, you know, all that stuff. But, um, you know, these, you know, everybody has these. So um, I'm going to try this today with this little sponge. So here we go. Let's see how it... By the way, I have... Um, I have cleaned my face, and I have put on my serums. I have put on my serums and my moisturizer, and of course, my IT Cosmetic Primer. My I talked about that in a previous video, primer. and that I have ever found that I like personally. So that's what I have. Whoa, I think I have way too much. <laughs> we'll see how this blends. Um, I'm a pat and press. Um, I like to do that. I like to pat and press, and I put it all the way up here into here. So let's see. It's almost like spreading um, sunburn lotion on your face, but I'm using a sponge to do so. So I get under the eyes. Um, there we go. It, I'm going to compare this. These I try not to go without my earrings. So, let's see. Rub it down in here. Let's see what kind of coverage we're going to get with this. Um, you can always go back and add, but I always like to start with and I thought I was really getting too much but I'm not I don't know it feels good it feels um it don't feel 
dry and cakey. Um, I think I need just a tad bit more, and maybe I'm getting too much, but if you can see my sponge, it looks a little like it's going along a little pink, but it's surprising when it comes out white, but it does neutralize, I guess. I'm going to pat this in, especially around my rosacea areas here. I do have um, rosacea in my skin, so I have to have some red areas and some sun damage. Place, But um, that's what we do. That's what we do. That's how we get our face on. So, okay, I think, I think that's going to be enough. And it feels, um, it doesn't feel tacky, doesn't feel sticky. Um, what I can see in my mirror, and I'm using my wind light again, by the way. Um, I'm still waiting on my lights to come in, so I have nice and nice and sunny weather here today. It's just beautiful here today, so I hope it is in your area as well as, as you're as you're watching me today. Um, so, it, yeah, it feels... Um, I was very tempted to try that product before I went on air with it, uh, but I did not. So, uh, the next product that I'm going to be that I'm going to be using is just putting on my concealer. And I'm going to use... This is Catrice um, concealer that I'm using today. Comes in light neutral, I believe it's light neutral. And put a little bit of concealer here and not get too much. And blend it all the way in there. And all the way up here, but that's what I do. Um, that's what I do, ladies. And blend it out. I have my carousel here to get my concealer brush. And this is the concealer brush that I use, and it's by It Cosmetics, and it's very bendable. It's just absolute, you just pat and press, and that's what I use for my concealer. It's weighted, and it's thicker right here, heavier right here. So let's just blend that in, and I just stipple. It's what I call it, stippling. Um, and just pat and press is what I do. Just blend it out. I just pat and press right up under the lash line. I hope you can see this because I think maybe, I hope my, um, my uh, mirror is not blocking where you can see what I'm doing here, but uh, I don't have the best vision and it's very hard for me to see. So I do have eye issues, and I'm needing some eye surgery, um, and um, that happens to be a cornea, double cornea transplants that I need in my eyes because I have an eye condition called fuchsia dystrophy, um, and I've needed the surgery for quite some time, but we put it on the back burner because of the COVID and my doctor just does not want to do it until the COVID is over because there's many, many office visits with this surgery. I had cataract surgery, double cataract surgery, well over 10 years ago, but I have a very bad stigmatism, so I still have to wear my glasses. I can't wear contacts. But anyway, let's get back to to the makeup today, but I wanted to share that with you. So I do wear glasses quite a bit. So that is the, that's what I look like so far, ladies. So <laughs> I'm sure everybody's wanting to see me without my makeup. And believe me, doing a, a full face, get ready with me for the first time is quite difficult because you don't want to take your makeup off in, in front of the world. So, but anyway, that's it. And that feels good. That makeup really feels, it feels awesome. I like it. I do. I like it. Um, it's not heavy. It doesn't settle in my lines, but I will do, I'll see how that works. But anyway, um, that is the concealer. Now I'm going to do just a little bit of powder, and today I'm using the uh, 
the It Cosmetic Powder Foundation. It comes just like this. It comes in a little compact, and this just happens to be the Celebration Foundation. You can use this foundation alone, or I'm just going to put just lightly over this today. And I just use a, you know, a little brush and then tap it off. Do a little bit here. I just said I, you can use it as a foundation if you want to. Um, that's actually what it's called, but I'm using it as a powder. So my blush, a little bit of powder where the blush and contour will not grab. And I'm not doing a, a lot today. I'm really not. Um, I'm just doing a very natural, a very natural look. Cause I did want to share this makeup. So, um, that's what I'm using. Let's see. I think I need to put some eyeshadow base on. And I am using the uh, Lorac is the eyeshadow base that I reach for quite often. And uh, I do use my little punch. And just spread this. It's a little, a little off-white colored uh, shadow base. Um, that's what I use most of the time is this this particular brand, Lorac. Um, and I just put that on. Use this brush. Occasionally I will just kind of pat and press and, you know, and pat it in. But today I'm using a brush and most of the time, like I said, I do use, I do use a brush. So, Okay, so that's on there, and I'm going to start eyeshadow, which is a very matte, um, no shimmer color, and using my It um, lid brush that I use. I'm just going to pat that in there, and spread that on there to give you a good wash, and that's what I do very fast do uh, again it cosmetics um, could you guess by now ladies that I'm an it girl yes I am so 25 20 25 percent off a lot of products so I'm definitely going to check that out and see if there's anything I need I need not want need um, my makeup stash is overflowing so I really don't need a thing um, as most of you don't either, but we're makeup junkies, as I said. So I'm going to use the Naturally Pretty um, Compact that I've used before. And I'm going to choose, um, let's see, grab my MAC Brush 219 that I dearly love. And I'm going to dip in a, call, a color called Mystery. I'm going to dip in that very lightly and pat it off. And I'm going to start this little crease right in here because I really have a lot of lid. From the brow down to my lash, I have a lot of lid. So sometimes I'll play that up and do a very smoky eye. Sometimes I will just do a very little bit and push that back because the dark colors are going to push if you have the, the droopy, a lot of excess there, lid, um, a dark color is going to push that back. And I don't, I'm not going to do that much today. Like I said, I'm just doing very lightly today. Okay, I hope you can see that, ladies. I have a little bit of a shake. So when I do my makeup, you'll find with you stay with me, you'll find that I do have a little bit of a shake, and it's something that I can't help. I'm not nervous about anything. I'm really not. Um, it's just that I just have a little bit of a shake, and I can't control that, so we just do the best we can, right? But there's brushes, and there's things, and if we get too much, we can always dip having a little bit of trouble here. This happens to be an It Cosmetic, a blender, and another brush here. So, letting the 
brush on the end. So, and I think this brush <laughs> actually came with a product that I, I um, that I order, and I think it came from QVC. You gals know I know QVC by heart, just about. I'm a big QVC shopper, let me tell you. This V to see what's going on as far as they extend it, maybe a week or 10 days or something like that ahead. So basically, that's all I'm going to do with that. I'm going to blend just a little bit more, so I'm going to blend a little bit more out. So I'm not going to put any more than that. And I'm going to go in with a light color. And let's see, where is my brush? I'm going to go in with a light color, and I'm going to put just a little bit old on the lid. Just to, and then always tap it. Put a little bit right there, just to kind of open the eye up. And I just noticed this top I have on today. Um, it's a kind of a lightweight sweater actually that I'm um, trying to get some mileage out of before it gets um, warm and you have to pack everything away so I just noticed that's almost the color of my hair <laughs> it's all but um, we wear what we can before we pack them away or at least I do so in the sequence that I like to do that I do my eyes I mean that's just what I do I don't put a lot, like I said, so I'm going to, and again, that's the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty uh, palette of eyes. So, okay. I hope it's a pretty day where you are today because it's absolutely gorgeous here. It's just a... Um, blue sky and last night when hubby and i were watching the national not the national excuse me we were watching the local news uh at our time around six o'clock and it was 74 here at six o'clock so i hope these days continue but next week it's going to turn off cold so today i'm going to the mascara i'm going to be using is essence this is Essence, and it's in black. And ladies, I'm going to tell you, if you've not tried this mascara for five bucks, this mascara is fantastic. I have $40 mascaras right here on this big carousel that I turntable. I got this huge turntable that I just turn it right around and get what I need. And this is called Essence. I get it at Ulta. It's $5. And I remember going in there during the holidays around Christmas time, and they had a big, huge bin. And the one I like has got, it's got the green. I also have the purple one. These are 5 bucks. People were just passing them up, and I wanted to just get a bullhorn and say, Try the mascara for $5 because it's fantastic. You cannot go wrong for $5. This mascara is awesome. So I'm going to, um, and I always bend my wand just a little bit. So bear with me. I'm going to get up close here and put a little bit of this more on here, onto my lashes on here. And a little bit under here. And I do use, a lot of times, I use the It Cosmetic Tight Line to get up under there to get those little tiny lashes. And I do like that. And I'm going to put a little tiny bit on the bottom lashes. I have, I don't have the best lashes. I just have, they're very sparse. I wore lash extensions for many years, and when I developed the eye issue, my eye doctor said, no, 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 can't wear that anymore. So he didn't want me to wear them. He'd take them off, and so I could not, could not wear those. And 
and it's getting, I think, more and more difficult. I have another mirror here that I kind of, kind of hold up to look, but I hope I got some. But this Essence Mascara at Ulta, five bucks. Try it, ladies, because you're going to absolutely love it. I know I do. Give it a try. And I'm going to, it's not up here. So what do you do when it's not up here? You just absolutely make a mistake. And it's number 508. The eyes didn't, you know, I don't know. I just have used it so long that, but I'm going to dip just a tiny bit of this in the dark color. Just a, just a, just barely touch it and, and that. And I just go up under there and just kind of feed that what's left over here. And I, sometimes I have to go and get a little bit more. But that's what I do. And blend that out. I'm trying to get um, a table set up, an area where I can film. And with just starting my channel, it's... Um, I'm working on several different things, and I just blend that out there. Um, we have a four-bedroom house, and I take, um, I'll blend this here, um, and it's just hubby and I, and we do have a guest room, and we do have a, a, a bedroom in the basement, and so... Both of us took one of the bedrooms. We decided to do that. And we took one of the bedrooms and used it as a closet. So I made a big walk-in closet here in mine and I have clothes in the closet. And I have clothes racks over here full of clothes. And I have bins everywhere and I have my dressing table. So um, that's what we did. We just took a closet and we thought might as well use that space. So that's exactly what we done. And it's working out good, but I'm working on a place that I can just set everything up. Don't have to take lights down. Don't have to put them up. I can just leave everything when I get ready to film. It's here. So I'm going to put uh, the eye pencil. And this happens to be Mally. This eye pencil happens to be a Mally, and it's called brown noser and I do use the black quite a bit but I'm, I'm basically with my coloring I use brown so I'm just going to line that just a little bit under there not a lot and then take the little they have to smudge that just a little bit and get that out there we go there we go and it's called Brown Noser, and it's by Mally Cosmetics. So, and I'm going to, um, by the way, I have another Essence product, and this is a um, eye pencil, and it's in Nude, and I get this at Ulta as well. And I'm going to do, in, I use this, it's a waterproof product, and again, it's what, $4. I think it's $3.99. And it's a nude eye pencil. And I always kind of do that with my pencil. And I go into the waterline, and it is waterproof. And I always go into the what I am today. Um, it's nude. If you use a white, if I use a white, it makes my eyes look really, really yellow. So this kind of brightens them up. So I'm going to go into the waterline and use this on the waterline. And like I said, it is waterproof. So I'm going to use a really brightens the eye, as you can see. And I do keep one of these in my purse. So when I'm out and about and I want to touch up, see the difference? I think it makes a world of difference in your eyes um, rather than using the white. So that's what I use. Again, it's Essence. And it's... $3.99, 4 bucks at Ulta. Can't beat that. Just going to fill in a little bit here. The brows. 
And again, this is NYX um, brown pencil, and it's brown auburn. Lipstick today is going to be a Clinique, and it's number 45, and it's called Nutty. Doesn't that sound nutty? <laughs> um, but anyway, this is the lip liner. It's by Clinique, and it was actually one of those little uh, GWPs that you get from Clinique. And I don't use a lot of Clinique. It's just not... Um, one of my favorites, but I do like their lip liners. So I go in there and purchase a couple of products when they have their yearly special so I can get their um, their little freebie. So, okay, let's keep it very natural. And do the lips. Just line that. I think the light, uh, my mirror, is blocking my window light. <laughs> but anyway, I always put um, a little primer, a little oil on my, my lips before I start. And then today I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use a lipstick by Maybelline. And it's, it's number 235, and it is called Warm Me Up. Warm Me Up by Maybelline. That's what it looks like. Very neutral palette today. Very neutral. And I'm just going to do with just a tiny bit. I think I've had this so long, I'm not even sure what it is, but it's just a little gloss I'm gonna put on my bottom lip, right in the center. Just to give me a little bit of pucker, a pucker pout, as they say. And like I said, I apologize, but it's wore off. Um, gotta pick up some new ones. I'm trying to use some of these things up. So that's the lipstick. Um, okay, blush. Let me go to my um, It Cosmetics here and grab a blush brush. They're on my table. And it's a pink. I'm going to use some pink today. Very neutral. Just tap it and pat. And I don't think I'm doing a contour today. A little bit there. Make one of the funny faces. And and that's the It Cosmetics and it's the kind of the pink two different tones. And I'm going to do just a little again. Yes, I'm an It girl. I'm using the Hello Light, and it looks like this in a compact, um, and um, my little It Cosmetic brush, to, brush that goes in. It's um, you just have to try it. It's um, uh, creamy like, and I just tap a little bit right through here, all the way out up in here, and just tap and stay under there. And it's just a highlight. And down the nose. Just tap right through there. A little bit here. Right. And my little bow right there. And there. I will go fix this hair. And that's basically, that's basically it. 
Um, I thank you for joining me today. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I hope you'll give me a subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and let me know what you think about the products that I use today, if you like them, if you don't like them. Um, and I will try to list everything in the link below. So I hope you have a fantastic day. Come back to visit me. And remember, I want to leave you with some of my favorite words. Go out and make today better than yesterday. And always remember that I love you. Bye.